it's been ages since I've done a video, partly due because of uh, this COVID-19 thing, so... Oh, my eye. I think I've got it in my eye. Basically, I'm going to be doing a... Oh, I can't turn this around. There we go. Right, I'm going to be doing a review on Agamar Car Launcher again. The last time I've done one of these was September 2018, so that's nearly two years ago. And it seems like yesterday that I was in my car doing exactly what I'm doing now. So I'm going to install this, wait for it to do its thing, and then I'll get back to the video, go through all the features that are now changed on it, if any. So I've had a quick play with it. If you go to settings, scroll to the top. You can change what car you're driving. So I'm in a Volkswagen, so I've picked the Volkswagen logo. Obviously, there's loads to choose from. Theme editor. This is where you pick like the color that you want. You can go to expert and choose different like levels of like customizing it. I've picked like the color that I think matches my car. Also, with the background, you can pick all like these different like textures. It's a bit hard to see on the screen. All these different textures. So I've gone for this one because that is most like this material here. So you can just sort of see it behind all the different logos. So if I click apply, that's what it looks like. What else do you want to see? This P button here. That's the time I've been parked up, so 28 minutes. If I go to this thing called quick button, you can either have the Google voice search. But, um, it's rare that I'm going to be like connected to the unit for that reason so i'll just pick parking time a bit random but that's the three options the other one was quick start camera i guess if you've got a camera you can use that for some reason volume controls i've turned that off because i've got like the volume control just there so i don't need that day brightness 100 percent, so i can see it nice and clearly while i'm driving in the day at night time look you can dim it right down you just drag this bar I'm gonna have it at eleven percent. It seems to be okay, but anything below eleven, it seems to just turn off completely. So I'm gonna keep it at eleven, and then that way, if you're on this screen, you press this button here. That's auto. That's night time. So that's eleven percent brightness. So that'd be pretty good. Back to daytime. Other settings there are weather. That's down to like. The weather in your area so it's done via gps so up here it says cloudy and 12 degrees which probably seems correct for what's going on outside at the moment back to settings grid size that's just the app like area you won't really need to click on that it's a bit irrelevant we use miles and centigrade in our country so that's what i've picked full size screen so it hides the android like taskbar at the top here so when i'm Back to the home page, which I'll go to now. I don't have like, if I drag down, I'll show you. Drag down, it'll be that bar there. It won't show that, so that's quite good. So it makes it look a bit more clean looking. Sorry if it's a bit grainy. It's probably not a very good time of day to be filming, but um, try and make the best of a bad situation. You can press and hold all these different like tabs. I think there's, there's six there. So you press and hold them. You can click app and then choose whatever app you want. I've chosen my Bluetooth app, so there's all my apps. You can change like the grid size, so I've done nine by nine. You can have it so it's smaller. So if you're not a fan of that, you can change size. Um, name, I'll call it Bluetooth because that's what it is. And then there's icons to go with all of them. All your different like options, I guess. So if you want the Facebook app, you can click Facebook there. If you want, I've got one set up as my car. Pretty simple and straightforward. You can just choose all your icons. DAB, if you click it, it just takes you straight to the DAB stations. I'll try not to play you any, because then I won't be able to post this video. Car info, takes me to like all my battery voltage, 11.9 volts, that's not good. I need to give my car a charge, probably because I've been doing this video for over an hour or so, sat in my car, watching the world go by. So that's pretty cool. That takes me to my apps. TV. Oops, I got it set up to take me to BBC iPlayer. But if you were to swipe on one of these, it brings up this option here. So these are more TV things, obviously YouTube. That's channel four. BBC, you can swipe. You can add your own and add more. 
obviously that's the DAB logo. You could add more here. So car info, I could click and hold this and I've got an OBD dongle in my car and that connects to something called Talk. So I could add Talk to it. And now it's showing the Talk thing there. So that's pretty cool. You can um, set up your Google sat nav. So if I press this GPS button, it takes me to Google Maps. And then once I start driving, this little widget thing in the middle will show me the route that I have to take and it will tell me which way to go basically. If you click on it, you can change it to the clock or the speed you're doing, what music you're listening to. Don't really like that one. Um, a compass and the logo for the car. So that pretty much sums this app up. Um, it's quite simple. If there's anything else you want me to tell you about it, then just write it down in the comment box and I'll try and get back to you with some help. It looks a little bit different to how I remember it. Uh, not much different. If you like this video anyway, give it a like and subscribe. Check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.